bags because you are invited to the Twix Takeover in Cancun, Mexico. Hosted by your favorite nerd, me, Oliver Twix with my friends Lauren England and Quentin T. Harris. February the 10th through the 14th, 2023. It's a five-day all-inclusive stay at one of the finest five-star resorts in Mexico, Rio Palace Costa Mujeres. Treat yourself to a luxury stay with beach access, Fine dining, unlimited drinks, on-site attractions, spa amenities, and daily activities hosted by the power of three, including a free masterclass on business, content creation, and marketing. And guess what? We're adding new co-hosts to the lineup. Gardini, aka Rick Rosa, and Berlin and Jay Twan of We Were Born. That's right, Chasing Atlanta Royalty will be in the building with special guest appearances by Jay Moore and the cast of Chasing LA. And yes, everything is included. All you have to do is book your flight and show up. Now it's only a $100 deposit to lock in the early bird rate. So do it now before the price goes up on July 22nd. Visit www.twixtrip.com. That's right, twixtrip.com now to book your package and for more details. See you there. Hey y'all, what's going on, honey? Let's see what the people talking about, y'all. Let me stack all my shit up because I will miss a step and I will fuck up the whole thing. How y'all doing? I ain't seen y'all in so long. I haven't gone live in a while. When was the last time I went live? Who keep a record of when I could be going live? What the fuck going on, y'all? I miss y'all. Listen. When y'all don't see me on live, that means, bitch, I be working. I be working seriously, you know? Shit. I be having to do what I got to do to get what I want. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? What's today? Is today Tuesday? Happy Tuesday. Bitch, I am in my home, child, on this wonderful Tuesday on a day off. Child, I'm still in my PJs. I don't got no drawers on, so I ain't trying to get my shit. But this is what she's giving today, honey. This is what she's giving. This is what she's giving. This is how I'm going to be picking up my kids from the bus stop. Hey! How y'all doing? How was school? Just like this? My kids going to be sick of me. They're going to be like, Lord, my daddy. But I say, hey. I mean, I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit because I don't want to embarrass my kids, but... Listen, what's going on? <laughs> Y'all so aggravating. What's going on? Let me put up some stuff. I miss y'all. I'm going to tell y'all about my weekend in Dallas this past weekend, child. And how I had the time of my life, but also how I was going to slap the fuck out of a bitch. Yes, me, Oliver, was been a dog walk. But we gonna get to it. We gonna get to it. We gonna get to it. Hold on. How y'all doing? I miss y'all. I kind of miss going live a little bit. I can't see how everybody go live every day. I just don't get it. And I ain't judging nobody, but unless you selling something... And making tangible money from it. Ain't no reason to go live every day. You got shit to do. You should be praying. Vacuuming the house. Cleaning the bathroom. Going on dinner dates with your friends. Trying to expand your business. Investments. Like I got I got off the phone today with my, with my friend. One of my best friends who is in business. I'm trying to do some new stuff. For the 2022. 2023. We're going to talk about a lot of shit. Listen, I'm going to make me some shrimp by the time this is all said and done. I got me a pound of shrimp here. I got me a white onion. 
I got me some um some parsley. She'll look she'll look dead, but it's all right. I'm gonna use her before she go real real bad. Some green onion, some red onion. Now normally I've been getting into um garlic, like the actual garlic, like peeled garlic, and chopping it up myself. But some reason it just tastes a whole lot better and smells a whole lot better in the pan. But I feel lazy today, so I went with minced garlic. Minced garlic, all that jazz. I need to turn on this motherfucking AC, bitch. It's hot. We got a little red pepper flake. I got one of my friends, Tanya Shavis, pretty paste on a pretty place here in Atlanta. I got her vegetable seasoning. Some lemon pepper. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but I just I just took it out just in case I want to use it. You know, I'm black and I'm from the South. We like to cook with our hands and our feeling, whatever the fuck we feel that day. So maybe I may feel like using it, maybe I may not. Who who knows? But I will be using curry powder. I put a little dash of curry powder in my seafood. T.S. Madison taught me that, and it really does make the seafood taste so much better. A dash. Dash like Stacy, not a lot, and then of course, the main ingredient is a Twix fix. Yes, the Twix fix is still popping. Thank you to everybody who keeps selling the Twix fix out. Y'all keep selling the Twix fix out. Why? Because the shit is good. Chef Holly came up with it, came up with the recipe. I just helped her fine tune it and put my face on it. And I came up with the marketing, came up with the graphic, came up with the rollout, came up with all that stuff. But it's actually really good seasoning. You could put it on seafood, chicken pork, beef. You really could put it in some collard greens. Listen, the holidays is coming up. I may do a Labor Day sale. The holidays is coming up. And some of y'all hoes gonna be in the kitchen trying to cook, trying to impress the people. Get you some Twix Fix seasoning for your greens and thank me later. Bitch, you don't need no meat. I swear for God. I swear for God. I probably should do my collard green recipe or cooking video soon so y'all can know you don't need no meat, bitch. You don't need no meat. Stop killing your family. Stop <laughs> sending your grandmas to early grave, clogging up her arteries with all this fat and stuff. You don't need it. I'm learning, honestly, new ways because I'm, I'm on a health journey. Y'all see I'm a little bit smaller than from the last time y'all see me. Hopefully, y'all see I'm a lot more smaller. Y'all see my hair has grown. My hair is taller. My skin is a little bit more clear. I'm going to work on this hyperpigmentation. Listen, if y'all out there and y'all know anything about hyperpigmentation because I really want to correct this like immediately. I know it's not going to happen immediately, but I want to correct this soon. Y'all let me know. DM me. Inbox me some products. I want to know because I really want to fix this. Like this is slightly getting on my nerves and I'm over it. But I must say since I've been trying to eat better hold on. My nutritionist, Dr. Jada, told me drink a gallon of the day. And honestly, drinking all this damn water make me feel better. It really do. I'm like, these motherfuckers really make know what they're talking about. They may. So anyways, I'm going to be doing a bunch of things at one time. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. It's a Tuesday. I didn't do no work today. I did a little work. And I may do a little work later on. But right now, I'm relaxed and enjoying myself. I'm going to cut up this stuff. And I'm going to tell you about my time in um, Dallas. You said you're an esthetician. It's DM me. Why well, I feel like I know you? I don't know. Maybe I do. DM me. I really want to get this hyperpigmentation fixed. Like I'm, I'm sick of it. So if y'all, if y'all do something, or if y'all know somebody who got something, or y'all got some remedies, some concoctions y'all be working on, DM them to me, please, so I can, um, so I can, so I can see about it. I've already washed my shrimp. They already washed. You got to send your meat in a shower, bathe it, get that shit off of it. But anyways, I went to Dallas this past weekend because I'm pretty sure y'all know from social media, Chasing Dallas is back and it's on the way. And <laughs> they asked the nerd to come help cast, which honestly, I feel like if any other Chasing Reality personality would be saying it, they'd be like, oh, of course I should have hit me. Of course, I'm the dying daughter. But honestly, I took it as an honor that they that they were even that they thought my opinion meant that much. I'm like, oh my god! Listen, when it comes to chasing reality stuff, I really try to humble myself and I really try to go out my way to self deprecate as much as I can because I already know who I am and what I've done and what I represent, and I don't I don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable in their own shit. So I just be like in the mind my business, shut the fuck up, and do as I'm told. So anytime that people um 
you know, ask me for extra things, it's an honor. Like, I think, I really think it's an honor and a privilege. And honestly, it was a fun experience. It really was. It really was. Um, and Dario was there. Markel was there. I'm telling y'all everything y'all done seen on social media. Markel was there. And Dario's mother came and visited with us. We had such a great time. And I had such a great time meeting the finalists for Chasing Dallas. And it really just reminded me of my own journey. Like, I remember, like, I was like, damn, this was me about four years ago when I auditioned for Chasing Atlanta and came bebopping in the bitch. Hoping somebody believed in me. And, you know, it was just... I cried a couple times. Y'all know I'm a I'm a big uh I'm a big water bag. But some of the stories, some of the people, I saw some old faces I hadn't seen in a while. I'm cooking shrimp, a little piece of shrimp. I saw some old faces from like when I was in school I hadn't seen in a while. I saw a lot of young people, younger than me, because bitch, I'm still young, but just younger than me, trying to figure it out. And I was just like, damn, like this is beautiful. Like to be to see people on their journey and play a part in their journey, I think it's really an honor. And I thank God for the opportunity. Um, and Chasing Dallas is going to be bomb as fuck. Listen, the cast is amazing. I'm not going to tell y'all who the fucking cast is because it's not my show, nor is it my shit to say and reveal the things. But the cast is fucking amazing. And honestly, I'm not saying it because I helped cast it, but it's honestly probably one of the best casts the franchise has ever seen. I'm just being honest. And for me, it was more so about who finna come here and work. Like, I think long gone are the days when it comes to web reality with bitches just coming and showing up and sitting down eating. Who finna put on events? Who finna show us that they working? Who is doing something different? Who has a personality? There were two things that I looked for. Who, who can actually show me what they do. Who can show it? I don't want you to tell me. I want you to show me. Show me. And I also look for the people who can answer questions the best. Now listen. This is a little, this is a little hint hint for people auditioning. At least this is what's been successful for me. It's not about knowing the right answer. It's just about answering it. Honestly. The moment you start humming and hemming, you was done for me. You was done for me. It could have been some fuck shit that, that came out of your mouth. But as long as you answered, answered it and kept my attention, it was a yes for me. Because you got to think about it. We got to film scenes. We got to do green screens. Well, they got to do green screens. They got to film scenes. They got to do stuff. They don't need nobody that don't got no point of view or don't, or don't have no... Um, and this is no shade to nobody. I see somebody said, don't do Q. I honestly have not watched Chasing LA. And when I say that this is the best cast, I think, in Chasing Reality History, I'm included. Y'all forget I'm on Chasing Atlanta. I've been on it for three seasons. So I'm talking about myself, too. Don't make nothing that it don't have to be. Don't get blocked. So I don't got time for the negativity. I'm having a good day. And I'm coming to have fun with y'all. Don't get on my nerves. Um, But... They got to film scenes. People got to be able to talk. People got to be able to show up. People got to be able to do scene work and stuff like that. And honestly, there were some people who had the qualifications, all that other stuff. But if you couldn't speak, it was already a chop for me. If you was talking about, I just want to promote my business, it was a chop for me. It was a chop. I wanted to hear about story. I wanted to hear about purpose. I wanted to hear, I, want, I wanted to see professionalism. I wanted, I wanted, I, I just, I just, I just. I just I just wanted to see the things of the things and I think the cast is gonna be great. It was we all girl, it was it was an all day fucking process. Now I will say that and I told Markel, listen, bitch, you got me over here working overtime. Bitch, I was in that shit from ten thirty until about five thirty. I said, God damn, but it was a fun time. Like it was a fun time and some of those people who came through there, I can't I just wanna see. I just want to see the things of the things of the things, girl, because there was some people that came in. I was like, oh, no, ma'am. I ain't tell them this. You know, I can't tell them this, but when they got out of that room, I said, bitch, she, you better cast her. You better cast her. And I did fight for, listen, because I just want the show to be great. Now, I don't know shit about whatever the fuck happened. I mean, I've heard things, but 
at a point in which I wasn't there to see it with my own two eyes, I don't know what the fuck going on. Like, I, I, so I just have to take everybody's word for it. And when you got, when you take other people's word, at least for me, that's just cold words for stay out the shit. So, of course, we all have seen some of the things that have transpired with Chase and Dallas and, um, and, you know, the p things that have played out publicly and whatnot and so forth and so forth. We didn't heard so many stories and accounts and all that other stuff. Regardless, my main thing was this, this, this iteration of the Chase and Reality franchise got to come back swinging. It got to come back swinging. It just got to. It just got to. It just got to. Long gone are the days. Just to me, I feel like when it comes to chasing, at, chasing reality. Long gone are the days. Long gone are the days. And I really do think... Well, I ain't gonna say that because I don't want anybody to be mad at me. I'll keep that one to myself. But anyways, so we cast it for the thing, child. Um, I don't know when the people are gonna find out, but I think they're gonna find out soon. Shit, I think y'all gonna find out soon. Shit, I don't know. But it's a strong, it's a very strong cast. Very strong, 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 strong cast. How's Mama Twist doing? Mama Twist is doing great, child. She is doing great. She got a promotion on her job. My mama is happy as they can be. She's doing great. Everybody's doing great. I spoke to her this morning, I believe. Sometimes shit be days and times and stuff be running to each other. Sometimes I be fucking stuff up and it got hot. Am I producing Chasing Dallas? I can't say that. I can't say what I'm doing for Chasing Dallas. Um, honestly, no, I ain't producing. I just honestly help cast. Um, I may do some cameos here and there. Here and there. I may do more cameos than what I've done before in the past. Normally, y'all just see me pop up for like an episode or whatnot. I may pop up for more than an episode, I think. I don't know. That's a, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see when the time comes, but um, it's going to be fabulous, whatever it is. It's going to be really fabulous. Ciao. We went out. <laughs> now, this is shit I wanted to get to. We went out Saturday. I was only there for Friday, Saturday. I flew out Sunday because I had to come back and do some work for Dr. Heavenly. And listen, y'all know I don't play about going to work. I will fuck everything else, bitch. She got to go to work because I like my lifestyle and I will do anything to maintain it. You know, shit, that's just me. That's my honest, that's my honest opinion on that. Um, To know me, to know, to really know me, to know I don't like going out unless it, I'm working. I just don't like it. I won't say I don't like it, but it's just, it's going out has never been my thing. When I was in college, I really didn't go out. I was always booed up with somebody and um, I was always dating somebody older than me that had a place off campus. So, child, when I got out of class, I was getting I was getting on the MARTA. Then it became Lyft Uber. Then I had got my own car. And I was leaving campus because I was like, don't nobody, don't nobody got shit here for me. You know, shit. I'm not trying to, listen, I'm not trying to get caught up in none of this shit because it just, it, it didn't interest me. It never interested me. Going to the club, standing in line. Paying to get into a place never interested me. And then when I became a, a little bit of somebody and the people started paying me to come to the clubs and the lounges, I said, oh, hell no. Bitch, y'all hoes can't catch me dead in this motherfucker. Hell no. Fuck that. But we had had a great day. I was in Dallas. I hadn't been in Dallas since, honestly, 2019 when I came with TS. I think TS had hosted Black Pride or like a pool party with her cash doll, some other people. And then I ended up staying for to film for Chasing Dallas, which is what y'all saw on season two when I was there for that whole episode. So I was like, let me go out. Let me enjoy the city. One of my friends moved to Dallas and he always be wanting me to go out and I don't be, want, I don't be trying to go out. So I went out. Those who follow me on social media, y'all saw B-King from season one of Chasing Dallas came over. He did my makeup for me. It was my first time meeting him. That was really nice. He masculine. B-King is masculine. The way he was walking, I was like, this is a man. This is, this isn't, 
this isn't no femme queen. This is a man walking around. And he was like, yeah, people get a fucked up. I was like, I see, because I, I had it all the way fucked up. Um, but anyways, he did such a great job on my face. He gave me the B King nose. Hey, Markel. Markel, I'm talking about when I was going to set that motherfucker off in that motherfucker. I don't know where the fuck we was. I haven't gotten to that point in the story. But I'm getting there. Markel. Let me wait. So, y'all can't hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? No, I haven't watched the Bobby show on Zeus yet. However, congratulations to Ike, which I've already spoken to him about that. Congratulations, congratulations to Ike. He's going viral. Me and Bobby do know each other from um we 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 had a booking together at um new york with pride back in 2019 both of us was was performing and i met him um backstage and we've been cool ever since so shout out to them listen i don't really watch a lot of reality tv y'all honestly being somebody that works in it works with people in reality tv y'all know half of the medicine half of the merits and medicine cast are my clients so i'm always with them i'm hearing the shit that shit too toxic for me to be quite honest. When I come home, let me tell let me tell y'all what I be watching. I be watching Animal Planet. I be watching documentaries. I love documentaries, especially the scandalous ones. Like I I be I be rewatching um what's that Surviving R Kelly like all the time. Not because not I don't know. I I just I just be interested in documentaries. I like getting to people's business that way. I watch um I be watching like Miss Mojo. I be watching like um I I be watching like old YouTube videos of Auntie Fee and shit like that. I don't watch reality TV. The shit too toxic for me, and then it, it's just too toxic. It's too toxic. It's too toxic. So especially when I just finished the season of it, bitch, I detach. I detach. I just started watching Chasing Dallas season three the other day, and I had to stop because they started arguing. I was over it. Listen, let me show y'all what I done did so far. Ooh. And another thing about drinking water, a gallon of water, they say you're supposed to drink half your weight in ounces every day. I watched Miss Pat Show. The Miss Pat Show is is directed by and created by Jordan Cooper, who I've known Jordan Cooper for years because he used to date one of my one of my best friends. Well, he Him and my him, him and one of my best friends from from Morehouse back in the day dated. Used to date, are dating. I don't know. Take that how the fuck you however the fuck you want. So I had to pause because I had to see how I was gonna say it. But listen, we just, yeah. So it's so good to see Jordan doing his thing. Jordan is like Jordan is like a year older than me. He's already that bitch is yeah. Let me just drink my water. Thank you, somebody. Shit. The Miss Pat show was good. I was so proud to see Dineva. And Miss Sophia and Dave was honestly one of the highlights for me of the season. So I done chopped all my shit up. I got parsley. I got white onions. Red. What they call these? They call these red onions, right? And then green onions. This is what I like in my shit. You make your stuff however you want to. And so, child, going back to Dallas, child, we went out. To know me is to also know I don't like none of that going. I don't like none of that. Sir, I'm not really supposed to be adding you. But anyways, let me finish my story. Let me know these comments. To know me is to know I don't like going out late. I like to go out like around 7, no later than 8, 8.30. Because that's before all the crazy motherfuckers going to be out. Everybody I know, the the... They go out around 10.30, 11 o'clock, 11.30, 12. I'm trying to wrap this shit up around 10 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock, 11.30, 12. I'm trying to wrap it up because I'm not trying to get shot. I'm not trying to get caught up in no fight. I'm not trying to get caught in anything. I must live to tell the story. I will always make sure I live to tell the story. I, don't, I just don't like getting to all that shit. I just don't. I just don't. If I'm gonna go out, I want to enjoy myself. I want to have a good time. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be bumping into people. I don't want it to be. A, I don't want it to be busy and loud and all that shit. I just don't got time for it. So, anyways, I let them convince me and Dario join. 
And Dario, I'm telling this story about how I'm going to slap the dog. Fuck. I'm putting garlic in the shrimp. Don't ask me how much garlic to put in there. I just keep going until I feel satisfied. I'm going to put garlic in the shrimp and I'm going to also put garlic in the pan when I put oil. And I like to eat, um, what is it, clarified butter? Clarified butter, either clarified butter or G, or is it ghee? I don't know, G-H-E-E -E, with a little bit of olive oil. It's really good. It's so good, so good. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm trying to eat better. I'm trying to do better with my body. Half the half of the battle, yes, I was... <laughs> And Dario, and Dario said, yes, he's about to set that whole strip on fire. I'm going to get to the story. I'm also trying to teach y'all what I put in my mouth when I like to put things in my mouth from the kitchen stove. So anyways, I let them convince me to go out later. I did not. I honestly did not like it. I did not like it. Markel said he ain't never seen Oliver, Oliver go off like that. Okay, so for me, I'm in another city. It's the weekend. I'm only here for one night only. I'm going to have a good time. So, y'all, I had ate a gummy. And I ate the whole gummy. Really because of Andario. Now, honestly, you're only supposed to eat half of these gummies. A fourth of these gummies. A third of these gummies. But Andario was like, eat the whole thing. Eat the whole thing. So, what I did, he texted. <laughs> one second. Let me see. Right. And Dario, right, talking about add me, add me. I should add him just to be a mess. But anyways, I listened to Andario and did what? I ate the whole thing. I said, fuck it. I'm going home in the morning. Fuck it. I got a plane ride. I can sleep this shit off. Fuck it. Right? Fuck it. So we drinking. I wasn't really drinking before we went out because... I had just got my makeup done and I don't want to mess up my lip gloss or my or the look the, the, the lip situation BK gave me. So I wasn't really drinking like that. But when we went out, I was like, fuck it. I'm out here. And I'll say this too. Shout out to all the people who ran into me and hugged me. And we took pictures and we key. We had a good time. It was so nice meeting all of y'all. If y'all watching this, if y'all will watch this. I don't know, but I appreciate all the love that y'all gave me out there in the Dallas streets. I really do appreciate it. It was so sweet. The people I ran into, whether you, you knew me from Chasing Atlanta, Chasing Reality, my top model videos, my blogs, working with my other clients, seeing my work on the internet. It was so nice. I, mean, I met some people in the mall. I went to, I don't know what mall that was. I went, Markel, put it down in the mall I went to. Y'all was nice. And then when, when we went out Saturday, the people was very nice and very kind. I really do appreciate it. Honestly, I do. So we went to the first place, no incident. It was really great. We was doing shots. Now I ain't gonna lie. We was showing our ass off. And another reason why this trip was so good is because I was going out with people that wasn't broke. And Dario got money, Markel got money. I do a little something, a little yang, yang, yang around the way. My friend got money. It felt good being around young black queer men who got money, who was like, bitch, I'll buy this round. Ah, bitch, I'll get the next round. Okay, I, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get around with you. I'm gonna do. It felt good to go out with people that got something to lose, that got the resources, and we all having just having a good time. It really felt like I said this in the car. I was like, it really felt like we on a, a mini girls trip. It felt, it felt so free, so fun. I really had a good time. Honestly, shout out to Markel, shout out to Andario, shout out to my friend DeAndre, shout out to um. Markel's partner. We all had such a great, fun, fun, fun time. And there's my, my bank on red chili. Uh oh. Anyways, so we went to the first place, child. No incident. Had such a great time. We throwing the we throwing the drinks back. Bitch, I'm drinking dog liquor, white liquor. Listen, when all of us go out, now I don't like to go out. I don't like to go out. But when I do go out, oh bitch, I'm showing my ass. I'm drinking everything. I'm drinking my drink, your drink, because I can handle it. Funky Dineva taught me how to drink. I started working with Funky Dineva when I was in college, my 11th grade year. And he was actually the one who taught me how to go out, what you do, how you handle your shit, and how you make sure you get back home safe. I love him always for that. So, bitch, I'm having a good time. And I ate. I had ate a little street hot dog. They had put bacon on it and cheese and all types of shit. It was fucking good. The sh I don't know. I think we went to the... I don't know where we went, Markel. To the neighborhood. It was such a dope time. It was white people, black people, Mexican people, people from out of the country, people from out of the state, straights, 
women, no children. But uh, we had such a good time. It was so good to see everybody minding their fucking business, having a good time, doing whatever, whatever. Nobody fighting. I don't hear no hollering. I don't hear no yelling. I don't hear no crashing. I don't hear. It was such a great time. So I feel comfortable. I'm getting more loot. You know I'm. Hey. We get to the next place. You dump all this shit in here. Now, I probably could have did this a little bit more prettier, but it's my stuff. You eat it, you prepare, you cook however the fuck you want to. It's your business. You do whatever the hell you want to do. And this is my business, and this is how I decided to put it in there. Baby, we got to the next motherfucking place. Everything was going good. And Dario said he don't remember the first place. It's all right, baby. It's okay. And you know what? And Dario, to be quite honest, I really wouldn't have remembered the night because we really got that drunk if I hadn't, like, if if DeAndre wasn't, like, filming us and, like, taking little videos. I post I posted a clip on my Instagram if y'all want to see. I don't even, I don't even know how we got to the third place. I don't even know how we even got home. I do remember, I do remember walking inside the house and then Dario mama was eating wing stop. And I was like, oh my God, this is my favorite place. And she gave me some of her chicken. And then I went to, I think I went to Andario's room because I found my chicken bone on top of his, on top of his nightstand the next day. We had a good time. We got to the next place. It started off really nice. I think maybe Markel ordered the first round. I don't know. Somebody ordered the first round. We had, we had a good time. And I was like, okay, it's still early. It's still early. We can keep going. So here I go. And see, I'm the type of friend, if you go out with me, I'm not going to mooch off of a bitch. I'm not going to do that. If you buy a round, I'm going to buy a round just off GP because won't no bitch say they went out with me and I was just sitting there and just collecting and not giving nothing. If you buy a round, if you buy an appetizer, if you do something, if you get an Uber, I'm going to make sure I match you because we out here taking care of each other. And you want to keep going out. You want to be like, well, child, we can't go out because bitch, you know, she don't like to, she don't like to whip out her car. She don't like to give nothing, child. She be acting skimpy. No, child, we all go to work. We all got our own money. We do our own thing. We all got plenty of money. Well, they got plenty of money. I just got a little bit of money. We all got shit. We having a good time. So, bitch, I'm buying. I think I bought like two mixed drinks, shots, five, whatever. The shit came up to like $75, right? Y'all see how I can still remember? It was like $75, right? I, I had already signed it, tipped the man. The man behind the bar, I'm just setting the scene up for y'all. I'm, I'm setting up the scene. The man behind the bar, I'm just going to say he was not of a black experience. He could have been, he looked white. I'm just going to say that. He looked white. He looked white. Beefcake, stomach out, chest out, thong up his ass. He back there giving a shot. He back there, they back there doing their thing. It was him. It was another man behind the bar. And I, and I would say it was like a, another guy kind of like cleaning it up, getting shots off the bar. All this other shit. Well, and Dario, he looked like this the whole time. Right, just smiling and shit. Which made me think, bitch, was you tweaking? But anyways, so I done bought everybody shots. Good shots. Not no bottom shelf shit. Good shit, because that's what the fuck we do. I bought myself a mixed drink because I like to have a drink in my hand and walk around. That's what that's what I like to do. And I think I think I had Barbie bought another drink. I don't know. But I do remember I bought at least one shot, one drink and five shots. We still didn't get our shots. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe they busy. Maybe, you know, it was getting it is getting a little late. That's why I told y'all I don't like going out late. Maybe it's busy, but it's okay. We're having a good time. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm off. I don't got no work to do. I mean, I got plenty of work to do, but fuck it. I'm saying fuck it right now. Fuck it. It felt like five minutes go by, 10 minutes go by, 15 minutes go by. So I said, hey, sir, hi. Y'all know me. I'm very nice. I'm very kind. I'm very sweet. Hey, because I really don't know who's watching me, honestly. And that has happened to me. People, I've gone out. People have DM me like, Oliver, I saw you. So I always feel like I'm being watched because I low-key am. Hey, sir, how you doing? Markel said, this is the point, at, at this point in the story, I'm dancing. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Um, we haven't gotten our drinks. He said, 
Yes, y'all did. Y'all drunk him and walked and walked away. I'm going to tell y'all how I'm set up. It may not be really good, but this is how I'm set up. The Lord will deliver me eventually if it's bad. I slightly have a black gay man's Napoleon complex. I'll admit to that. I feel like because I'm of a feminine persuasion, I had makeup on. I had on that cheetah print child looking like Galleria from the Cheetah Girls. I had my, my nails was freshly done. Expensive ass nails and feet manicure. Them bitches charged me 25 22 I ain't gonna lie on them. 22 extra dollars just to put a white gel on my feet. Down and down. But it was all right. I was on a mini vacation. It's okay. This is why we go to work. Because it's the hell of these things. But I always feel like men try to try me because they see me as a lady. And I feel like I have to be extra in those moments. So I was like, all right, Oliver, you've been drinking. Don't go too irate. Handle your shit the right way. Handle it. I'm still smiling. I was like, hey. Um, hey. I said, hey, we didn't. Maybe you got us confused with somebody. Now, mind you, between the time of him walking away the first time and coming back to me, it had to be at least five, six minutes. So I'm already getting slightly fucking agitated. So I'm like, hey, we still haven't gotten our drinks. We still, we still, he said, I can't remember exactly what that man said. Maybe Markel, maybe my friend DeAndre, maybe somebody can inform me. But I just know he got slightly aggressive and was like, I already gave y'all y'all drinks. Y'all, I saw y'all take them. So I didn't say nothing to him. I turned around. I said, and Dario, did y'all take some shots? Because maybe I'm tripping. Maybe this gummy is fucking with my mind. Maybe I didn't did too much and now I'm in here tripping. So let me just, let me check in with the rest of my cohort to make sure that I'm not in the wrong. And Dario, did you have your drink? Did we take shots? And Dario, drunk ass, <laughs> said no. Markel dancing, he was dancing with a drink in his mouth, said no. His partner said no. My friend DeAndre said no. Baby, that was all I needed. Baby, when I tell you that was all I needed, and this not right. But honestly, my my black gay man Napoleon complex kicked in. And I'm not trying to make it a race thing. I'm really not. But Mr. White Man, y'all know I y'all know I love everybody. But Mr. White Man, you ain't finna talk to me like this. Baby. I said, I don't know who the fuck finna come talk. Hell, oh! And the, the more reason I was more mad because I I knew I had swiped my card and already tipped this motherfucker. Tip this motherfucker. Tip him nice. Because I'm just feeling good. I said, I don't know who y'all got to get. But y'all better y'all better get somebody right now because won't no bitch get another drink in this motherfucker. And I'm not fucking playing. Get somebody right now. Right now. My friend DeAndre was like, Oliver, come I said, no, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Now I'm getting mad. I said, bitch, I work hard for my shit. I don't get a check every two weeks like other motherfuckers. I work hard for my shit. You ain't finna play with me. Me and my friends are here, out here trying to have a good time. Give me my shit. What Markel said? Markel said, all of a sudden, I'm going to slap the shit out of him if y'all don't get... Exactly. I said, I'm going finna, I'm finna to jump across this motherfucker. And I don't remember how exactly we got from one side of the bar to the other side of the bar. And Dara said, yes, everybody was gagging. I don't remember how we got to the other side of the bar. I don't remember. I just remember somebody came and got us. And I heard them say, we watching the tape. I said, yes, watch them. I said, none of us ain't got no reason to steal. He made six figures. He made six figures. He made six figures. We don't got a reason to steal from y'all. I, I, I don't think I said the C word. I hope I didn't say the C word. Lord, please forgive me if I said the C word. Please forgive me if I said the C word. Because I did not, I don't mean to ever say that. I don't mean, I don't, I don't mean it. But I felt like it was tough. First of all. First of all, when your customer have a complaint, your first response ain't just supposed to be attacking them and telling them they wrong. You go review what the fuck you got to review and then come back and talk to me. I think that's another reason I got pissed off because y'all already trying to dismiss me. I said, bitch, none of us ain't, ain't got no reason to steal. 
We ain't got a reason to steal from y'all if we wanted to drink all motherfucking night or get all these shots and pour them out in the street. We fucking can because if we fucking want to. My friend DeAndre said, Oliver, please come down. Please come down. Please come down. Please calm down. I said, all right, I'm going to shut up. I will be quiet. I will shut up. It was another girl. It was one of the waitresses. One of the waitresses came and she was talking. She was saying something. I said, ma'am, I don't know what they, what they, somebody better do something right now. And I went, I went on my phone and I saw the $70 pending. I saw it. And I think I threatened them. I said, if I don't get my shit today, I'm going on live and I'm blasting this goddamn place and I'm sending it to every social media friend outlet that I know to make sure don't no motherfucker come here again. Needless to say, we did get another round of shots and a drink. And when I woke up the next morning, I didn't see no charges from the place on my card. So <laughs> and I don't really like getting upset like that because I don't view myself as a lady. I view myself as a lady first. And I must always um, have decorum and pull myself up. But to be quite honest, wasn't nobody around me moving fast enough. And bitch, that was my car. That was my good car. Now, I didn't... That was another one I was pissed off. Bitch, I gave you my good card. Y'all know us girls. We got about three, four cards. Bitch, you'll ne bitch a bitch will never hack my shit. Bitch, you'll think you done hacked it. Bitch, you, bitch, you didn't hit the Hiroshima account. I gave you my good card. Bitch, don't play with me. <clears throat> Mama, don't play with me. And Daria said, talk about the third spot. And Dario, I don't really remember the third spot, to be quite honest. <laughs> All I remember is what is posted on um what what is posted on the on my Instagram, which was some type of way. Somebody grabbed me and took me to the DJ booth. I don't remember. I don't remember how I got to the DJ booth, but I just know I was up there with the DJ dancing and we was dancing. That's all I remember. I don't honestly remember anything else. I don't I don't remember anything else. And Dari, if you're still here, inform me. All I just know is we got to the DJ booth. Somebody grabbed me and then I grabbed you to come to the DJ booth and we was in there dancing. Um, that's all I remember, but I do remember I was going to slap the shit. I was going to slap the shit at that bartender, and I think I did say that I would slap the dog shit out of him. Y'all, somebody better give me my money or give me these shots. Whichever one come first, I really don't give a fuck, but somebody better do something, bitch. Um, Markel said, the DJ is my friend. I said, Oliver and Dario, let's go. <laughs> that was really it. The DJ move, yes. We thought we lost Markel, but Markel wasn't lost. That bitch stayed there. You posted that on your story. Yeah, I don't know shit. Y'all tell me. Oh, well, that's about it. That's about it. I just had to tell y'all that story on how I was potentially about to get myself cased. <laughs> the shit was $75. Shit, it was my $75. And you not finna talk to me like this. The DJ equipment fell on you, Markel? I, what? Markel, can you join me on live right fast? Are you busy? The DJ equipment, Markel and Dario, do y'all want to join me right fast and tell y'all versions of what happened? Y'all don't got to show y'all face. Turn your camera off. The DJ equipment, baby, we partied. When I tell you we partied, baby, we partied, baby. Baby, we partied. Markel almost broke the DJ set. What? What is going on? I can't go out with y'all. Y'all are some wild people. This see, see, y'all see why I said I didn't want to go out. Why I don't like going out. Why I don't want to be out late. This is why. You put your season is in. Markel sent a request. Twix fix, bitch. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what happened. <laughs> Markel, what happened? So what happened was, um, so you and Adario was next to the DJ, and then I went to the front of it with Wuda because I was talking to him. And Wuda Beyonce, was there. Yeah. Oh God. Wuda Did was, I meet Wuda? Yeah. Okay. So the DJ EJ he put on Church Girl by Beyonce. So I was like, Oh, this is it right now. <laughs> 
So, so, so the front of the DJ area was like a little open space. So I went there. So I needed something to grab onto as I'm dancing. But as I grabbed onto it, it started leaning towards me, and then the whole system cut off. <laughs> so I ran up. <laughs> I ran to the bathroom so quick. <laughs> I said, "Oh no, oh no, they're not gonna catch me in here." Uh uh Markel, what happened at the spot before that? At the spot, oh, at lava. Was that what we was when I when I was finna erupt like lava on that yes. bitch? Yes, it was at lava. What happened? I was having a great time. Just we all having a great time. The music, look, the, the the music was good, and then the music was damn good. We was already by the bar anyway, so you turned around and you ordered some. I don't know what you ordered. So the only thing I saw you was signing the paper or whatever, and then then you were just like. uh where's our drinks and then he say he stacked the drinks up like he stacked the shot glasses up because we took yeah so that's what happened hey y'all uh, so that's what happened when you had ordered the drinks oliver he like i guess he had put them out or whatever and then um he just left it out and i didn't know if it was for us or if it was somebody else or whatever i don't know but he ended up stacking the drinks and putting them to the side and then like pouring them out <laughs> and that's why I was like, I'm confused. Like, you never gave us the drinks. You, you, you threw them away. <laughs> yes, that's what I was trying to say. But I, I was, I, I was gone. I was gone, child. Both of y'all was gone. <laughs> when, 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 when did I start getting irate? What do y'all remember about me getting irate? Y'all better motherfucking get him before I slap the shot. <laughs> Yeah, you were saying all of that, and I was like, oh, no, it's time to go. I said, wait a minute, what's going on? I ain't never seen Oliver get like this. So then security, no, the, the manager came down, and he brought us down to the end, but security was in the corner because it was the manager and that girl. And the, the sec you wasn't looking at security. You were trying to get up in your, uh, your, your bank app and trying your hardest to get up in that. And then... <laughs> 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 DeAndre was trying to was trying to count, count no, it, and security was just looking at us in the corner of his eye like, "What's up?" I was like, oh, "Lord, please." No, I, I was, remember trying, trying to get, to get in my bank app. Bank now app I couldn't app, get into like, it. <laughs> you were trying to get into that bank app so bad. We was like, "The fuck." <laughs> <sighs> it was a good. It was a really good time. I had so really much fun good. though, but I can't remember nothing about that first place. Oh, the first place was the team. They was they was twirling on the poles, and it was some naked man in there. I remember that. Oh, oh and yet, yet, because I remember this man came up. The one of the go go boys came up, and I just turned around, and his dick was just in his hand, and I was like, "Sir, I go to church." <laughs> so I don't remember seeing that. I don't, I don't remember, remember seeing that. that. Mark, I do know you had um brought me to your friend. That's all I can remember. Oh, the one that just came, the one that followed us all night. Is that the one that got his car flooded? Oh, no. No. You talking about Sunday night. So listen. So Sunday night, we ended up going to 3606. We had a good time. We did hoop -hoop. Oh, my God. Oliver, you would have loved that. It was a vibe. You know, we had, had a little section area. Well, would, would I have loved it? Because Sunday, all the flights out of Dallas got canceled. Listen. <laughs> Y'all had, had a Katrina. Y'all had a Katrina. Y'all had an Ivy. It listen. It it, it started. It was raining earlier, so we went inside, had a good time. We probably stayed about two hours, and then I was just like, okay, so let's go to the next spot. But I saw that it was getting to start raining, so I was like, people ain't gonna start coming outside no more because it's already raining. So mm -hmm. I I dropped him off back at the Airbnb. I came home, went to sleep. I woke up. The two friends I introduced and Dario to and Dario two was on live. Their car got flooded, and they were standing on top of another truck, and they couldn't yeah. get out no more. The cops had to come and save them, but when the cops came and saved them, they was um, they told them that they got to find their own way right, their own way home. So I don't know if they ever made it home or not. Maybe I'm not a good friend. Oh my god, the flooding was a mess. Yeah, that made no fucking sense. And Darius sent me videos. I said, well, I'm glad I left um Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. You got out just in time, baby. That Honda Accord was not gonna make it. 
on that street. That Tesla back the fuck up so quick. I was telling the people earlier that the cast is going to be so amazing that the auditions went very well. Yeah. The auditions was very, very well. There were some people who came in there who just nailed it. There were some people who came in there and said, <laughs> they said, so what's this show about again? <laughs> mm -hmm. You had straight people come. It was, it was a lot. It was, it was good. We had some really good people. And you're back. What you cooking today? Some shrimp, but I'm always eating. Mm. You know, I love shrimp. I you had no shrimp in Dallas. Huh? I didn't. We went to Fedora and that bullshit shit. <laughs> did we take a picture of that drink? <laughs> I didn't take a picture of the drink. I did. I really blame all this on, on Andario because Andario told me to eat the whole gummy. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I had a good time. I don't remember I most really, of the I stuff, but I had a really good time. <laughs> even listen, even on day one, we left from Vidora, came back to my house, and had plenty of shots. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we was drunk in Markel house. That was fun. <laughs> Everything was funny. Everything was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that's all I got for story time. I need to get a hand focus, and I want to hear some music while I cook. I don't want to talk no more. Yeah, I got I got a film later on, so I'm trying to get get the house together and cook real quick if I get up out of here. What you got to do in Dario? You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna edit, finish editing, chasing LA coming out this Thursday, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Hold on, wait. Hey, Markel, why do you call yourself a TV producer for Chasing? I love you, but Chasing is on YouTube, not TV. Well, honey, if you Google me and look at my IMDb, then you will see all my credits, okay? Chasing is just not my only credit. Thank you. Don't you watch YouTube on TV? <laughs> at a point in which the people is making money off the people watching it, it's TV, shit. <laughs> the coins is being made. Please check the IMDb. Please get all my three books in Barnes & Noble and in Amazon, please. <laughs> A little oil, y'all. Just a little oil. Oil helps the butter not burn. What you doing? I'm making shrimp, but I'm telling them how I make it. Just shrimp? Yeah, that's it. I'm from Florida, bitch. We'll, we'll get some shrimp and call it a fucking day. Where is the lobster? I ain't gonna do all that. That's too much. That's too much. Where is the crab? The crab I feel like cracking nothing. The crawfish. Where I is the feel, crawfish? God damn sure ain't feel like that. Where is the catfish? You gotta suck the head. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Markel, we got to come back. No, yeah. It's the, okay. Come back when Katrina don't come back. Oh my God. <laughs> and you tell your clients you busy all weekend. No bitch, I don't do that now. <laughs> I'm so what's No, I mean, there's so many other places to go. We just, I mean, we can only do so much in that little two days. But it was fun. It, Markel, I honestly had so much fun. We had a good time. I, I mean, even just hanging out at the Airbnb, going out to eat, just... And Oliver really don't care about us, y'all. He would, he would go to he Go does. Puff and order food without us, yes. order all kind of snacks, didn't even ask nobody, y'all hungry, y'all want some skin? But I bought snacks for everybody. With a big bag. <laughs> but I bought snacks for everybody. And everybody ate. And Dario, your jaws was chomping. Markel, your jaws was chomping. Because I was starving. Y'all was chomping. Y'all like my little snacks I provided? <laughs> Girl, not that car. <laughs> Bitch, your skinny ass. I can't eat that shit. I eat that shit just bloated until Friday. <laughs> Oh. Well, thanks for thanks for putting me on to go pro, go pup. I tried to order something yesterday, but it said it don't service my home area. So okay, because you live oh. far, Marquette. Like you live like far out. It's far Marquette out because Ridge. that was the first time coming. Mm -mm. Marquette Ridge. That drive felt like thirty minutes. That was only because you had to pee. Oh yeah, you had to pee, and it was traffic. Oh yes. I was gonna say, girl, we had just left the restaurant. She's talking about she got the pee. What you mean? 
I wanted to fight her so bad. <laughs> well, it didn't hit until I sat down. I get it. I understand. Mm -hmm. How did we get home? Like, at what point did we say this is it? You was ready to go, and then... Me. <laughs> you. You was ready to go. Y'all, I think y'all had left, and I was, was I still in there? How did I, did, did I drive? Oh, I did drive. I think you drove. I drove, but I can't remember. Did would it leave with us? I don't remember. I think y'all. I don't remember. Well, y'all, y'all end up leaving with DeAndre because I don't know where he parked it. So y'all. Oh yes, I remember that. Yes, so um, DeAndre took us home. Yes, Oliver, when we got in the car, <laughs> you was knocked out. You was gone. <laughs> we had went to. I was like, DeAndre, can you take me to Whataburger? Because I was so hungry. So we went to Whataburger. <laughs> And I got me a number one, and then we went home. You didn't so, get no food. No. So when we got into the Airbnb, I had um, stayed on the couch, and I was eating my food. And then, yeah. So then when I went upstairs, I saw you was in my room, knocked the fuck out with makeup all over the pillow. I fell asleep <laughs> in your bed. Yes. And it took me, <laughs> and it probably took me about like maybe fifteen minutes to get you up, because I was like, girl, I'm tired. Get up. And you had the chicken in your hand. <laughs> the chicken your mama gave me. Yes. <laughs> That's my pool. I'm hungry now. We have fun. It was no toxic energy. Not no. at all. It was no fire. It was no really arguing. fun. It was nothing. I was like, why Atlanta not like this? The crime need to be better. Well, I love y'all. I'm finna go. Bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.